Okay, so now let's talk about some operations with continuity. So if f is continuous, let's see, you hear him again. f and g are continuous, then so are, uh, let's say, and let's say lamp, a scaled f, scaled function, continuous function, is continuous. Competi composition of continuous function, let's say star, star, is still continuous. The product is um, continues to be continuous. Uh, let's see, and the sum still continuous. Very simple proofs. They're straightforward. Just assume the epsilon delta definition for one. Then, for just say for both of them, for f is continuous and g is continuous, and then multiply add. Very simple. These are bread and butter proofs. You should be able to do them in your sleep. Very simple. If you get these on a test, then you should thank God. I'm sorry, I should not mention God. I, I don't know anything about God. One day probably I'll meet him and I'll say hello, but I, I, I don't know if he exists now. That, that maybe someone will prove he exists, but I don't know how you can see anything like that probably mathematically. Okay. So something that's much stricter than con continuity called is uniform continuity. Uniform continuity implies continuity, obviously, because if you look at it at a point, and I'll show you that. Well, actually, you can just see it yourself. But uniform continuity, much more difficult, but much, much more <coughs> easy to use and proofs. Much, very, 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 very nice. So, definition of uniform continuity. Let's say that means that means for any epsilon greater than zero, the distance between x comma y less than delta, then there exists a delta greater than zero. Just set the distance between x and y, and x and y are in the set D. X comma y in the set D. Then, using the metric space uh, N with the tensor rho, rho of f of x comma f of y is less than epsilon for any epsilon greater than zero. Now, in continuity, we just looked at a particular point and we just said it continuous at every one of those points. Uniformly continuous, much more stricter. So this time around, we look at all pairs less than delta. So this is actually a much more stricter argument. Much better in proofs. Much, we use it so much. And I'll show you next week when we talk about Lipschitz contents, constants and Lipschitz functions. But for now, I'll just write a really good theorem that you should know with uniform continuity. So, theorem, the uniform continuity theorem. If k subset of metric space M, k is compact, <laughs> then And f is continuous, which is not so strict, then f on k is uniformly continuous, which is very useful. Anyway, I think I should go. But thank you very much. Next week, we'll talk about differentiability, talk more about uniform continuity. It will prove some things about Lipschitz functions. Thank you.